there's nothing like homemade French toast with butter and hot maple syrup. It's a classic family favorite, but making French toast the traditional way in a skillet is very time consuming. So today we're gonna to show you how to make French toast in the oven using a sheet pan. All of your French toast slices can be cooked to perfection at the same time. It's quick and easy to make, and there's no wasted batter. Our featured bread today is Martin's Famous Potato Bread. Martin's is a family owned and operated company headquartered in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. So when you want to make French toast, make it Martin's French toast. It's going to be delicious, so stick around and we'll show you how we make it. French toast, a classic family favorite made with Martin's Famous Potato Bread. We're cooking our French toast in the oven using a sheet pan. Topped with butter, hot maple syrup, and powdered sugar, served with strawberries, blueberries, and bananas. Here's what you'll need to make this delicious hot breakfast. Eight slices of Martin's Famous Potato Bread. You can also use Martin's Whole Wheat Bread too. Three large eggs, two teaspoons of brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon each of nutmeg and salt, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of melted butter, a cup of milk, a cup of crushed pecans, a half a cup each of blueberries, sliced strawberries, and sliced bananas, a tablespoon of powdered sugar, a 13 by 18 sheet pan, and some nonstick cooking spray. The first step is to slice the bananas and strawberries and portion them out along with the blueberries and put them into the refrigerator. To crush the pecans, use a plastic bag and a meat mallet, then set the cup of crushed pecans aside on the counter. You can also use walnuts if you don't like pecans. Next, let's get our batter ready. In a large bowl, add in the three eggs, the two tablespoons of brown sugar, the cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt, vanilla extract, melted butter, and milk. Whisk everything together. If you have an immersion blender, use it. Cinnamon and nutmeg tend to clump together when they're in liquid, and an immersion blender works really well to blend in the spices. To get the oven ready, place one of the racks on the bottom rung. If your oven has a heating element on the top of the oven, place the second rack on the top rung. Then preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Spray some nonstick cooking spray onto the sheet pan, then pour the bowl of batter onto the pan. Place the eight slices of Martin's potato bread onto the pan and flip them over so that each side is coated with the batter. Spread the crushed pecans out over the eight slices of battered bread and push them into each slice. The pecans are optional. Most French toast recipes don't include any nuts at all, but the crushed pecans add some nice flavor and also adds to the presentation of the French toast. Place the pan of French toast onto the bottom rack of the oven and cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of cook time, it's time to brown the top. If your oven has the broiler inside the oven, place the pan on the top rack. Our broiler is underneath. Cook for another minute or two and monitor it closely so that the French toast doesn't burn. The French toast is golden brown and ready to eat. Slice the French toast and plate it. Top it with the fruit, butter, maple syrup, and sprinkle on some powdered sugar and you're ready to serve. And there it is, Martin's French Toast. Made with Martin's famous potato bread and crushed pecans, topped with fresh fruit, butter, and maple syrup. It was delicious. Until next time, bon appetit.